uh, in which they've become embroiled. Don't you say right off the bat, my friend, don't talk to anyone in the jail. Nobody hears your friend. Every time you're on the phone, every inch and ounce of what you're saying is going to be transcripted. It's going to come back to bite you in the you-know-what. Don't you say all those things to them? All lawyers do that. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you're absolutely right. And I think in this day and age, seeing CSI, I think all defendants should know that by now. And they don't. <laughs> they should. They don't. Well, okay, they're it, they're it, not smart. Walk me into the jail, please, because I know you've been in and out of those things with your clients. Isn't there a big old sign stuck right beside the phone saying, you're being recorded? It's there. It's there. I mean, in this case, it could be that, again, it might go towards this sort of defense that I would put forth that he has these inner demons, he's struggling with himself, so he knows that he's going to be recorded and it's best to get out. Some of the things that he's saying, he's saying all these anti-gay things, he's really putting it out there so the public will know that he himself is not gay. Oh, he, boy. It's abhorrent, that sort of thing. You know, uh, I, maybe I should refrain from the uh, invectives that I'm about to use, but what a moron to yes. say things like this. Uh, gay things need to die. It's not like I went up to a school teacher and shot her in the head or killed a straight, law-abiding citizen. But you know what? Doesn't it Ugh. sound scripted? Doesn't it really sound like it's kind of scripted and he's trying to get a message out? Yeah, it sounds Even like scripted and stupid. stupid. That's what I'm going to say. Hey, Gwendolyn, Lindy Jackson, when you have a client and you are uh, advising your client of all the things that he or she